All right, this is example five. This is similar to a question that will be on your next test. We want to evaluate the limit of sine of one over x as x goes to zero. Here you can see a graph of this function. And what's happening is x is approaching zero. It's oscillating between negative one and one. It's just bouncing back and forth. So um, first of all, let's Let's look at a function that we should be familiar with. Which is, we're going to look at y equals sine of x. So let's see, sine of x is going to look something like this. That should be pretty familiar with all of us. Okay. So let's see here. All right, so we want to look at um, we want to look, compare x one over x and sine of one over x. Okay, so, so again, this function, according to the graph, it's oscillating between 1 and negative 1, right? So um, if we look at sine of x, here are the values where it's oscillating between 1 and negative 1. Okay, so here, if I pick 1 over um, 2 pi, that result is going to be 1. And let me show you why. Okay, so first of all, if we look at 1 over 2 pi, I would simplify this. I could multiply the num or the denominator and the numerator by pi over two. Okay, the denominator would just become one, and this would be pi halves. Okay, and we know that sine of pi halves is equal to 1. So that's how I'm getting this and this. This x, which is right here, would go up here. So this would be pi over 2. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. 
the next one I'm going to do would be 1 over 2 over 3 pi. Okay? This would be negative 1. The next one I'm going to pick is going to be 1 over 2 over 5 pi, which would be positive 1. The next one I would pick would be 1 over 2 over 7 pi, which would be negative 1. And again, up here I would have 3 pi over 2. This would be or no, it wouldn't. Sorry, sorry. These, these, this x value would be 2 pi, 2 over pi. This one would be uh, 2 over 3 pi. This one would be 2 over 5 pi. And this one would be 2 over 7 pi. The next one, as you can imagine, would be 2 over 9 pi. And then this process would continue on forever. Okay? This row here is represented as x approaches 0. And the reason why is if you look at this pattern here, the numerator is staying the same, but the denominator keeps increasing. Okay? So, in your calculator, do 2 over 11 pi. See what you get. Then do 2 over 13 pi. See what you get. Then do 2 over 19 pi. See what you get. Each time, each of these values, it's going to be a number that's getting closer and closer to zero. This is the idea of x approaches zero. Okay? So, this table here is showing you why um, this limit has sine, this limit of sine over 1 over x approaches zero. The, why it is does not exist. It doesn't exist because here this chart is showing us that it's oscillating between 1 and negative 1 as x goes to 0.